Way over there at the foot of that mountain is very near to my hometown, Roaring Spring, Pennsylvania. And we are in Morrison's Cove. If I back off a little bit <clears throat> and turn the camera, there you can see Morrison's Cove. Dear to my art ever since I was a little boy. Always has been. That's Lloydsburg Gap over there. And why I'm bringing you here is because we're going to go, this is a southern cove. And we're going to go to the Southern Cove Power Union. I'll show you details of that, that festival. <clears throat> and this might be of some interest. Over there it is. Sorry, it's a little hard to drive and film at the same time. That looks like a steam engine firing up. Let me see if I can zoom to it. They're probably going to thrash with steam over there. We'll go there first, maybe. Well, soon. These vendors are, are something new, and the guys that run this are pretty excited about uh, the fact that there's vendors here. I am too. Uh, I have a couple of these. Uh, it's three of these, I think, in the barn. I didn't know what they were, but I do now. Uh, this is for lacing flat belts. Flat belts. Here. I need one of these, actually. Big deal. But I can borrow No, why? <coughs> Lard press. These things go... They, they go for a good bit at an auction. What's that? That's cheap. $95. I have one of those. This is a shingle mill. Maybe uh, if it's running, I'll film it a little bit later. We're going up there. The sawmills are the re real reason I'm here. Okay, I'll be very disappointed if I don't get to film this in operation. I have two sawmills, uh, which I need to put together. Uh, this may be a Frick, it may be an American. The sawmill I have is older than this. The spool is uh, out of a cast, and, and mine's <laughs> driven with a rope. And there's another sawmill. <clears throat> I'll go around and show you. These are called head blocks. And, and this is the carriage, and uh, with that handle right there, he moves the uh, log over uh, by whatever increment you want. There's the sawdust drag, uh, here's the uh, belt tightener, and that engine is humongous. Uh, it's, it's way more power than is needed here. Now this, uh, there's a, a planer. Uh, Flat belt, everything about everything's flat belt driven. This is new since I was here last. Uh, this is an edger, they call it. The guy was showing me that by moving this, you can move, move the blades apart over there. And uh, this is what you set your board, set your board against, and it's uh, powered by that tractor over there, long flat belt. <clears throat> I don't know if you get to see this in operation or not, but you can. Th th this. Uh, slides in a there's a there's a oh, a key uh, a keyway and a key there and it slides and that one is fixed and here's the uh, planer I don't know if they have this going yet or not um, it's nice I have a friend that's 
going to let me borrow from my museum a, a four siding plane. Love to see that that thing run. And I don't think they have it going yet. This is a cutoff saw. These are very common <clears throat> for cutting the slabs up into firewood. I have one or two of these. Babbitt bearings, I imagine. Well, maybe not. There's the little power plant. It almost looks like it's made out of a tractor. Here's the fresh lumber after it's been edged. No, no. I think this came straight from the sawmill. This is pine. It's light. We'll go around. But I really wanted to film the sawmill. These parts, uh, they seem to be an entire sawmill here. Uh, these are Babbitt bearings, for sure, and probably free. Uh, uh, no, that's not free. Um, there's a... Uh, let's see, and this, this was... See, they, they reverse direction and control speed now by slipping belts. The sawmills I have have a different uh, principle. The, the blade would go there. There's this that holds the wood apart. This uh, uh, goes on either side of the blade, I think, to stop the chatter. Um, here, see, this also would have slipping belts. I don't know if you, you could understand this or not. And there's the cable. Uh, here's part of the uh, carriage. That's a mighty short carriage. Oh, oh, may, oh, okay, you see there's the coupling. And there's that also joins. And over here is the rest of that carriage. And there's the spool. I looked and I think this is a frick. As I had said, my sawmill... Both of the ones I have are older than this. Here's a steam steam tractor. <laughs> I always like to steer on these things, chains. Steering. Here, this is. These are hitting this engine. They're called that because what, what's going on is that the, when they slow up, there's a governor <coughs> that, uh, that makes it fire. It, it gets a spark whenever the uh, governor senses that uh, it begins to slow up a little bit. So every, only, every so often, now if it's powering something, it'll keep sparking a lot. And, and the and the water uh, steam coming out, that's the cooling system. That sits right over the uh, piston. That spark comes from a uh, magneto. This, this one's been running, you can tell, because it's still cooling down. <clears throat> Here's the magneto. And there's the... Uh, you know, it, it, gives it, it gives it the gas. Single cylinder. I have a, a, a double cylinder compressor that's built almost exactly the same way, except that the head is different. Now, I, boy, I'd like to have something like that. Standard twin. Hmm. In Europe, uh, I've seen things that look a lot like that, a lot like that. Uh, might have to talk to these guys. <clears throat> Up there is the blade of the sawmill, I'll give you an idea where we are. Uh, smaller hidden miss engines are here. I like this tractor. Uh, well, yeah, I do like the tractor, but I like the plow. Uh, it, it thrills like that. You go out the hillside and you're found with one. You turn around and turn the other one down. You can keep plowing in the always downhill or uphill, whatever. Reversible. That's pretty cool. A two-bottom plow. A two-bottom plow on a little garden tractor. Usually it's just a one-bottom plow. 
little crawler. They're on tracks. What's going on over there is it's a parade for me. This is an antique tractor parade. There's a guy flying an American flag. Uh, they show off their tractors, big tractors, little tractors. I'm sure the sawmill isn't going to be running until after the tractor parade. That's okay. I was thinking that was a pretty big plow. Of course, that's a snow plow there. A little mower, walk behind mower. Shore master. This I haven't seen. A walk behind on track. I, I just, I've never seen that. Uh, Endless tread tractor. Guys are with the